y'all. This is Dez back with another video, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you read about the title of this video. Pretty much, I'm going to be stating my opinions on the the season that the Philadelphia 76ers had. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, right? Basically, I, I, I always said, I said, yeah, they needed, like, just, they needed to get rid of the coach, but, and a few other players. But other than that, like, yeah, they were fine, you know what I'm saying, to me. But, like I said, I'm going to be stating my opinion on it. So, like I said, if you're interested, definitely keep watching. Now, all right, so. Okay, Philly, okay. Of course, you know what I'm saying, they went through the whole, you know what I'm saying, the process situation or whatever, you know, which I'm like, yeah. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, once they got, like, say, uh, once they got Ben Simmons and Joel and B, you know what I'm saying, like, they, they was literally, they was set, you feel me, but, I think the first domino effect was when they traded Drew Holiday for, um, for Nerdless in the World, which I was like, yeah. But I was, I was, I was, I was mad about that trade, but I was like, damn it, man, I, I, I would have loved to see, uh, Nerdless in the World and Anthony Davis in the same front court, you know what I'm saying, but that's when they, uh, the next year they drafted, um, Joel and B, and then of course Joel and B was hurt. And then after that, they drafted uh, Jaleel over for us. I was like, okay, y'all just trying, <laughs> y'all. I'm like, y'all trying to build a team for the front courts, you know what I'm saying? But but even with that, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they still was like rocky or whatever. But I think mainly, I think they was, I think their main focus on Pacers, they was just trying to, they was trying to. They were more focused on Joel and B, so that's why I think they drafted Jaleel Okafor just to fill that spot. You know, then once Joel B came back, I mean, you could clearly see, like, he came back. Oh, yeah, he was, hey, he, he was balling, you feel me, so. So, then I think after that, uh, <clears throat> that's when they drafted uh, Ben Simmons, and then, see, I right now, when they drafted Ben Simmons, and, of course, he had got hurt, I was just like, I was just wondering, I'm like, man, I think they, I think they, uh, and Ben Simmons, he probably was hurt, but I think they made him just sit out the whole season, because I'm thinking, I'm like, Cause they seen how Joel and B did. You know, so he set out the whole season, and then he came back balling like literally. So I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, that's a, that's what they're trying to do now. They trying to, you know, what I'm saying, give him a year to just to work on the game and all that. But like I said, when Ben Simmons came out, you know, what I'm saying, hey, he was balling. You feel me? He just to the day he just ain't got no damn jump shot. I'm just like, bro, like you can clearly see, like, but he just don't want to shoot. Like he could be wide open in the corner, like he just gonna pass. And I'm like, oh my god. But other than that, like I said, yeah, I mean he. Cause they were saying, yeah, cause I didn't know he was a point guard. I'm like, point guard, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I was saying, like, he was like, I thought he was like a point forward, cause I'm like, anything, I'm putting him at a small forward, but, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about it, it's like, well, yeah, he's a point guard, so, like, I mean, why not, you feel me? So, so, you know what I'm saying? But then, you know, all the other stuff happened, and then, they, that's when they drafted, uh, Markel Fox. I was just like, uh, I mean, I like, looking at the, looking at him in college, I'm like, okay, yeah, he would be a good fit. He just gonna be, he like he he was like he basically he'll be he a point guard, but at the same time he'd be more of like a scoring like guard. Like he ain't really like a point guard. So, but of course it, we all see what happened with that or whatever. I was just like, I don't know what the hell happened with them, but you know. what I'm saying? I'm thinking I was like, okay, even with that I was like, okay, if they got Ben Simmons and they got Joel B, okay, y'all need a small forward. So I'm like, you know, so for all that hell, y'all could have just. Y'all could have just stayed where he was and got Jason Tatum. Like literally, you see what he doing now. So it's like, man, just imagine if, what he was doing with Ben. What he would be doing with Ben Simmons and Joel B. Oh my God, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's one thing I said too. I said, well, they definitely need like a small forward. Yeah. And at one time, Robert Covington, he was he was a solid small forward, but you know, say eventually, it's like yeah, like he could easily be like replaced. Like you know, what I'm saying no knock to him, but he could easily be replaced. So. So basically, I was like, okay, well, at first, you know what I'm saying, like, they had, uh, cause I knew, I think, I think it was at, uh, pick number nine or pick number ten. It was one of them picks or whatever, but, you know what I'm saying, at, at the time, I was like, well, Michael Porter, like, Michael Porter Jr. was still there, so I'm like, bro, so I actually got excited, I said, bro, they get Michael Porter Jr., because, like I said, it was another situation, I was like, well, yeah, he, he, he kind of, like, he, he's hurt, so he's gonna be out there, yeah, so I'm like, bro. They get Michael Porter Jr. I said, oh my God. But I think they drafted um, Markel Bridges and um, then they immediately traded him to Phoenix for uh, Zaire Smith and some other pieces or whatever. So I was like, oh. But I was like, damn. But hey, had they got Michael Porter Jr., oh my God. I mean, as you clearly see what he's doing now, like it took him a little minute, you know what I'm saying? But I already knew, like, so I seen him, like, say, when he played in college, I'm like, yeah, he gonna be, he gonna be something nice in the NBA. Because clearly, like, so he's literally, like, 
he has the potential to be either on Kevin Durant's level or he can be close. That's a, that's in my opinion, you feel me? So, but so when that was that, so when they did that in the draft, that was, I was like, okay. So I said, yeah, definitely a small forward though, for sure. So so during the season, they traded for Jimmy Butler. I was like, oh, okay, we're good. But then that's when they made another trade for Tobias Harris. I said, oh, these motherfuckers are great, like, bro. But then of course, you know, what I'm saying Kawhi Leonard, that that happens. So, but at the same time, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't looking at it as a bad thing. I was like, you know what I'm saying? That's all right. Yeah, I just got beat at the buzzer, but hey, y'all gonna come back strong, you feel me? So, but then Jimmy Butler left and went to Miami, so I was like, oh, God. So, then this was this was a dumb move. Okay. Okay, y'all lost Jimmy Butler and everything, but okay, I, I would immediately look for somebody who can to fill in for the Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler role that he, you know, that he left or whatever, but <clears throat> y'all go out and Sign Al Horford to pair him up against Joel and B or next to Joel and B, which I was like, I personally didn't understand that move at all. Like that's a, that was a dumb move to me, cause like, but like Al Horford, he like he had some good years in Boston, but yeah, I'm like, but like around that time, like around like his career now, I'm like, but he's declining like tremendously. So he's not gonna be a fit. Then he's not like he's not gonna stretch the floor or anything. So it was like, bro. I didn't see that fit at all. So of course, you know what I'm saying, when they finally got everybody together that year, you know what I'm saying? Of course it was a it was a disaster, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, first of all, like I said, Al Hofer was not a fit and you know what I'm saying, it was just a complete disaster. But one thing I always did say though, I was like, okay, now that they got like a winning team, okay, y'all need to get rid of Brett Brown because he's not nah, he was he was he was a decent, you know what I'm saying, when they were doing the process situation, but once you know what I'm saying, once they yeah, once they started like getting Great players, okay, yeah. He had to eat, okay, he had to go. Like, he had to get out of there. Like, but I, I feel like when they kept him, it's like, okay, yeah, that, I knew that was gonna be a disaster. Like, as you clearly seen, it was. Like, especially, cause uh, even in the bubble, I was like, okay, yeah, they, you know, they ain't have Ben Simmons, but at the same time, it's like, bro, like, they, they still, like, they still, like, just, they just wasn't playing. Well, I was like, bro, I said, they need to get rid of the coach. And luckily, by the grace of God, he got fired. I was like, hallelujah. So, yeah, so basically, okay. So when they looked for the coach, my okay, my first choice was, cause they were saying Mike D'Antoni. I was like, yeah, and I said, man, I said he ain't make that work in Houston. So hey, what makes you think he gonna make that work in um, Philadelphia? So, so I, I'm thinking, I'm guessing my first choice was, of course, Ty Lue. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was just my choice. Like, I mean, I like Ty Lue as a coach. You feel me? Like, I just do. But of course, you know what I'm saying? But then. What caught me off guard was, you know, I said, Doc Rivers, they got fired from the Clippers. I was like, wait, what? But then I thought about it. I said, yeah, well, look at the season they had. Man, it wasn't a surprise. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, Doc Rivers is not a bad coach. Yeah, it's just like, I just feel like he just, he did just got, like, pushed way in that greatest coach, one of the greatest coaches conversation because he won the championship with Boston. But I'm like, yeah, but you had Kim Garnett, Ray Allen, and uh, Paul Pierce. It's like, yes, who's not going to win with them? Well, he got fired, so... Instantly, I thought about it. I said, well, I said, watch he going to Philly. I said, again, I said, nine times out of ten, I said, he's going to Philly. And of course, Stephen A. Smith was like, hey, Philly, you need to call Doc Rivers right now and get him and give him that job. Like, and of course, like I said, because at first, I thought, I thought Doc Rivers was like, maybe he was going to take like a year off. Or sh Same time, it's like, hey, I don't blame him. Though. It's like, hey, I mean, I, would, I, probably, I probably would have been like, yeah, I'm taking a year off, but then, yeah, oh, they, they offered me all this. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. I'm accepting, so of course, you know what I'm saying. Basically, Doc Rivers, he wasn't, he wasn't without a job for long, so you know what I'm saying. So I'm like, okay, yes, like he definitely, yeah, he don't say that's definitely like okay, a coach that they they need or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, because the the talent is there. Philadelphia, like I said, the talent was always there. It was just like okay, just like yeah, the coaching, yeah, I'm like yeah, that had to be yeah. The other coach, he had to get the hell up out of there. So when they got Doc Rivers, I was like, oh, okay, bet. So so I act like when he, he took the job, I was like, okay, now Doc Rivers now. You just came off a a, a a bad season with the Clippers, so it's like, bro. Now this this year is gonna be a make or break. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you don't do nothing with the 76ers this year, okay, you might. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say basically after this job, after this coaching job, you might not gonna get another one. Not as a head coach anyway. So, but you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know what I'm saying. That's what everybody was saying. Like, okay. And instead, I, I thought about two girls. You know what I'm saying? But. uh with Tobias Harris when he was with the Clippers, that's when he had his best years in his of his career with the Clippers on in Doc Rivers' system or whatever. So I was like, okay, so 
that's definitely going to help Tobias Harris, you know, to get back to that, that almost all, that, that um, borderline all-star level or whatever. And then, of course, next thing, you still got Ben Simmons and Joel and B, you know what I'm saying? Which I was like, which I, which the combination of it, I was like, okay, well, that's all, like, say, Philadelphia really need when they had Ben, Sim- ben Simmons and Joel and B. They need a solid small forward. And Tobias Harris, he's, he's solid, you know what I'm saying? He's not like, like he ain't no, he ain't no Hall of Famer, but he's solid, like, for a team-wise, yeah, he's solid, you feel me, so. And then that's the first move I seen they did that, oh my God, hey, that was music to my ears. They they got Al Horford out of there. I was like, yeah, man. I said, it's nothing personal against him, but it's like, bro, at this point in your career, bro, you just, you you want to decline. Like, your best years was with Atlanta and, and Boston. Once uh, once all that happened, like, so once all that was done, okay, yeah, you put him on, you, you're done. Like, career-wise, well, I can say career-wise, but as a starter, yeah, like, you're, you're, you're done. Like, you'll definitely be a solid role player coming out the bench, yeah. But, for like, you be, like, a starter, like, you'll, like you'll keep peace, like, nah. Nah, yeah, that's, all that's, that's behind you, you feel me? So, once they got, once they had got rid of him, I think they had got Danny Green, so I was like, well, I, I ain't gonna, I like the movie, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yeah, I mean, since Ben Simmons don't want to shoot, or he can't shoot, so when they got Danny Green, I was like, okay, I like that. I like that movie, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's a shooter. But then, this what got me. During the draft, I'm like, boy, they got Seth Curry. I said, oh, these, I said, these mother are serious, okay. You know, they had to give up Josh Richardson, Richardson though. I was like, man, I like him, man. I really did, man. but if he doing his thing in Dallas, so I'm like, I ain't, ain't mad at him, you feel me? But that was the only thing. I was like, dang, they had to give him up, but you know what I'm saying? But then, like I said, the key addition, like I said, they, then they got Dwight Howard to play behind Joel and B. So I was like, man, okay, I, I guess, I don't know, but. But well, overall, like I say, man, then I looking at the season, it's like, yeah. Even with, like I say, this is this the thing. I'm like, boy, they just needed some good quality coaching. Basically, like I say, it's to the point, like, man, they don't really need Ben Simmons to shoot jumpers. Like, literally, like, like that's what that was a good move about it. Because, like, yeah, Doc Rivers come, he can literally play his game. Like, he could just play his game without having to shoot, you feel me? So, it's like, okay. Because as you see, like, I mean, hey, he and playing defense, like I said, he taking, he, he taking the ball off the court, you know what I'm saying, hey, then Joel and B, oh my God, I was like, finally, because they were saying, like, you know what I'm saying, it was a lot of talk about him, he was like, he didn't, he don't take basketball serious and all that, like, I mean, I would say that, it was just like, a lot of stuff he was doing off the court, it was like, okay, it's kind of questionable, you know what I'm saying, it's just a maturity thing, but. This year, it's like, hey, that's why I said, yeah, he did the same time. He needed that coach that, that, that would actually get on his ass. Like, if he messing up, yeah, that coach would get on him for real. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, as you can see, like, say, you see the year he's having. So, you know what I'm saying? Of course, he ain't got hurt, but it's like, yeah, that comes with the game. You feel me? But overall, like I said, hey, you see, you see them balls. I'm like, hey, they, <laughs> them balls are balling. You feel me? So, then, like I said, that was the only thing. That was, honestly, that was the only thing that was wrong with Philly. They just needed a better coach. They, they just needed a better coach, period. Cause yeah, but my own is like yeah. Honestly, yeah, you weren't the right person for the job to take it when you first got hired anyway. So it was like yeah. See, all they needed was a better coach. Yeah. See, once they got there, then yeah, hey, look at them now. You feel me? So yeah, I think they uh, I think they either two two one or three one against the Wizards in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? So hey, hmm, hopefully they can say they can get further than what they've been getting. You feel me? So like I said, they 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 definitely moving in the right direction for sure. So like I said, in the off season um. What they should do, honestly, that's up in the air. Like I said, if I was them, I'd I keep the team attacking, you know what I'm saying? i add, like, a few more, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, yeah. Y'all core is there. Like I said, Joel B, uh, Ben Simmons, and Tobias Harris. Yeah, like, your core is there. Then you got the head coach, Doc Rivers. So, yeah, your core is there, you feel me? So, you just got to you just gotta build without that, you know what I'm saying? So, hey. <laughs> like I said, you just got to take that in one minute, you feel me? So, but like I said, that, that was my thoughts on, you know what I'm saying, Philadelphia, uh, their season, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, like I said, it, it's the start of, you know what I'm saying, more success to come, you feel me? So, we shall see, though. But like I said, hey, like, comment, subscribe, also share the video, whatever you want to do, whatever you can do, I'm down with it regardless, you feel me? So, till my next video, y'all already know what it is. I'll see y'all in a minute.